This is the Sonova Placid. It's a new model for 2020. Um, I do not have a ton of video footage of it, but it's a really nice board and I wanted to get my take on it out there um, with the footage that I do have. I've mixed in some talking point video and some surf video so you get kind of a sense for what this board is about and, uh, and you give it a good close look because it is a really, really nice board. I put on the uh, volume weight to ratio on here so that you could see that I am riding um, above the advanced level on my 810 Placid at 72 years old. And it's not that my skills are so great, it's that the board has real solid stability for this length. Um, I'm quite comfortable on the 810. Uh, it's got enough width at 32 inches and the nose has got enough width to provide um, reasonable stability in most conditions. So um, this is a board you can ride a bit smaller than your average board. Uh, and that's good because uh, in the bigger sizes, I feel the nose on the 9.1 that I owned was too wide. Um, it seemed to get in the way a lot. I really wasn't happy with it. So I got the 8.10 and I am ecstatic about this board. I love it. Um, a totally different board than my 9.1. Three inches smaller, but a light years difference. I take this out all the time in pretty wonky conditions. Uh, I like the fact that it's down in the water. The wobble is very controlled. Uh, I surf it in reasonable amounts of wonk with reasonable um, stability and comfort. So the deck is sort of a wash with me on this board. As you can see, it has a lot of tail lift and pretty considerably nose kick. It's a pretty rockered board. Uh, the tail is extremely thin and light. This is a board that's best surfed off the tail. I mean, look at the thickness of this tail. It's not as thick as my thumb, you know, sideways maybe. Uh, it's got a lot of rolled up tail rocker. I ride it as a quad with little, I have little flexible um, quad fins in it. And 
I love it. I love the way it surfs with them. This is my happy spot on the placid. Just a hair forward of dead center and both feet pretty close to the middle. If you get too far back on this, the tail doesn't have the volume that the nose does. favorite here very quickly the right little fins this is feeling like a winner a full-on winner since the placid 87 31 and a half 125 liters this should be pretty pretty easy for me even if at my rotundness uh, I'm fairly far forward on this board. This is stable once I'm out and paddling around. 8.7, I'm fine. I could probably surf this board without too much trouble. The Placid lives up to its stability goals. Paddle's pretty straight for a little board. One twenty-five liters is enough for me. So, so the Placid at 8.7 I could own one of these on a real small day I'm in mean, a real clean day it's no problem 